Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So, um, I look a little bit um, wild right now, like what, what even is my hair? Anyway, I look a little bit wild right now, but that is because I wanted to open up this video barefaced because I have a bunch of new makeup that I want to test on camera today and one of them being a foundation. Now I got two different foundations off of Ulta. These foundations have been blowing up the interwebs on TikTok and YouTube. So I got both of them to do a first impressions on. I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna do like two separate videos on the first impressions, I think. But the first one that we're gonna be trying out today is the Vegan KVD Beauty Friendship whatever. <laughs> that is the Good Apple Foundation and I'm of course a little late to the game but I really 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 wanted to try it because back in the day when I was like just getting into foundation like I think I was in like in sixth or seventh grade when I tried foundation for the first time and one of the foundations that I tried was by Mary Kay because that's what my mom used to wear all the time and it was a very similar kind of like compact foundation kind of like this one so I, re I hopped on Ulta and they didn't really have the shade that I wanted so I got the lightest shade that they had in stock <laughs> and I'm a little bit nervous I'm not even gonna lie about it because I am still very very pasty white from the winter and the only shade that they had was medium 039 so I'm a little concerned if <laughs> you can't tell. This is going to be a fantastic foundation for the summertime, but while I am still pasty and I have not seen the sunshine, this is gonna be very interesting. The other foundation that I got was the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder type thing. If you guys have seen this floating around the interwebs as well, Really want to do a first impressions on this, so I got that one. But this is going to be like a foundation first impressions plus a bunch of other shit because we have bronzers that I've never tried before. We have my very first ever Kylie lip kit that we're going to try. We have a little ColourPop palette. Like we just, we have a bunch of stuff and I can't wait to get into this video. So the full name of this foundation is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. It is $38 on Ulta and it has about three and a half stars because some people, the thing with this foundation is you either really, really, really like it and it works really, really well with your skin or you really, really, really hate it and it's a greasy, balmy mess. And the shade that I got, which is Medium 039, it says for medium skin with neutral undertones and that's literally the only and lightest one that they had. So I don't know exactly how this is going to look on my skin. I'm not trying to look darker than I am. I just... We're just gonna call this my summer shade. So here is an up close view of what the actual compact looks like. Mine actually did not come broken, which I am very, very happy about. Um, a lot of people have been receiving theirs completely busted, but mine is not, which is a good thing. Um, I really like the packaging. It is a little bit cheap. And then here is what the back of it looks like, and it has your shade nice and big there. And when you open it up, here is what the actual foundation looks like. So it is very, very balmy. I'm actually gonna touch it. Ooh, oh, that feels so strange. Oh, that is strange. Oh my God, that is yellow. Oh no, you guys, what did I do? We're just gonna have to really blend on the neck here and uh, hope for the best. Of course, before we jump into the actual foundation application, we do have a sponsor for today's video and the sponsor of today's video is of course, Dossier Perfume. So let's hear a little word from our sponsor and then we'll jump into the video. Hello, hi, it's me from the future. So today's video sponsor, like I said, is from Dossier Perfumes. If you guys have no idea what Dossier is, they are an online perfume company where they sell luxury inspired scents for a more than fair price. Once you open up the box that you receive, it even says it right on the inside, iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. They have so, so many luxury inspired scents. Tom Ford, Chanel, Gucci, Victor and Rolf, you name it, 
they probably have it. They have so, so many different scents on there that are inspired by the real thing. But the thing is, is you don't have to pay the astronomical price tag. You can get the same smelling thing for way, way less. Winning, who doesn't like to smell good on a budget? <laughs> Hello! So the scent that I got this month, and oh my god, you guys, I am literally, this is probably one of my new favorite ones, and I never thought I would say that, because the scent that I got is Floriental Coconut, and it has notes of cardamom, pistachio, bergamot, lang lang, tuberose, jasmine, cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. Now, I am someone who... I'm not a fan of coconut. I don't like the way it smells. I don't like the way it tastes. I don't like anything about coconut. However, when I smelled this and I sprayed it on me, this is literally the perfect summer perfume and literally every single one of you need to go out and get this right now. So the scent that this perfume is inspired by is Tom Ford, the Soleil Blanc perfume. You guys need to run out to Dossier and you need to get this. So here is what the bottle looks like on the inside. It is a full 50 milliliter bottle and these last for such a long time. I kid you not. I have so many of these and I'm still going through a lot of them because they just, they last forever. You guys want to know how Dossier works. Basically with every single order that you get, you get a box that comes and it looks like this. You get the little card with all the information on the inside and when you open it up, you will see that you have a little tiny sample right here. Well this sample, what you do is you try the sample first. So you take it out of the box. Oh! Once you test the sample, if you like it, you can go ahead and keep the package and start using the 50 milliliter bottle. Or if you don't like the sample, you can completely send everything back in the little box, pack it all up, and you will get a full refund. All returns are free, no questions asked, and you can pick out a new scent that you want to try. But I think that is so incredibly awesome of them that they supply a little tiny sample before opening up the big bottle of perfume. That way they're not being so wasteful. And seriously, you guys, this is one of like the best scents I have ever smelled. And I can't believe I'm saying that because I'm not a coconut person. But this, this scent literally smells like summer. And we're in the month of June right now, which is perfect so you need to get your hands on this because this is what I'm going to be smelling like all summer so if you run into me somewhere this summer I'm probably gonna smell like this so if any of you guys are interested which you should be then make sure you go down and check out the link in the description box thank you so so much to dossier for sponsoring this video I love working with you guys I think it's great what you do and thank you for making me smell good all the time literally I even wear these things to bed Thank you so, so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Now we can zoom you guys in and I can kind of show you uh, what how this is going to apply. I'm very, very interested. I think I'm going to try to apply it with a brush first. And then if that doesn't work, get a beauty blender because when in doubt, grab a beauty blender. And this is also going to be a very late first impressions because it is currently quarter after two in the afternoon. I literally never filmed this late, never, ever, ever. But today is Sunday that I am filming this. It is my only day off from work. And this morning I had to get some chores done, laundry, dishes, mop the floors, vacuum, you know, all that good stuff. And now I finally have time to film. So that's why it is so late today because your girl had stuff to do because I don't have time during the week to do it. So I don't know how long I'm going to keep this on for. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Here we go. Here, we go. Here is how my skin is looking. My skin has actually been doing really, really well. And I'm not doing anything special. The only thing that I'm really doing is I don't ever wear makeup during the week because my job just, it isn't necessary to wear makeup every day. So I very, very rarely wear makeup, um, maybe only a couple times a week now. But, and my skin has just been thanking me for it. So my skin has been looking really, really nice. Let's do this. Let's just jump into it. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush right here. I don't know if this is a foundation brush no clue, but I'm going to go in with this first and we're just going to, oh my God, are you guys ready? We're just going to, oh bitch, that is the wrong shade, girlfriend. And I'm just going to, wow, this, a little bit of this goes a long way, you guys. You definitely do not 
need a lot. Oh my god, I am so yellow. This is bad. But I mean, a little bit of this goes a very long way because we've almost covered literally half of my face. It's very, very full coverage. It feels really cakey. I don't know if you can see it bouncing off my lights, but it's like really, really balmy. So it's not as dry as I thought it was gonna be. We're definitely gonna have to like blend down the neck for sure. And we're gonna do the other side. If I do end up liking this foundation, I will definitely go back and purchase my actual shade because this is just not the right shade at all. I'm an idiot. Another main reason why I don't ever film this late, especially on a Sunday, is because right behind me, there are children that live there and Holy Mary, Mother of God, they are the loudest goddamn kids ever. Like, I don't even think their their mom pays attention to what the hell they're doing because they are so fuck. Like, did you hear that? Like, they're so fucking loud. All they do is bang on the walls, they kick the walls, and I literally cannot be in here and film when they're home because they are just, they're so loud. I just, I feel like people need to have like a parenting test before they actually become parents because fucking shit man nobody pays attention to what their kids are doing like when I was a kid and my dad lived in an apartment and we made any sort of loud noise he was like fucking like respect the neighbors we have people below us and above us be quiet but not this bitch she doesn't even care she's just she just lets her kids just do full-blown construction next door there we go <laughs> Now it looks intentional and I'll have my hair down so it'll be like covering my ears. It's actually like looking really nice so far. I mean I'm definitely not going to be building this up because I feel like it's just going to turn into a cakey mess. Like you definitely only need one layer of this stuff. You do not need more than that. That is like 100%. Every time I hear kids being loud it makes me never want to have kids. Like, having kids for neighbors is fantastic birth control. All right, guys, so here's what the foundation is looking like laying on my skin. I'm actually really liking the way that this looks. It looks very healthy, it looks very dewy, like you can see it bouncing off my lights. It doesn't feel dry. Like, I thought it was gonna turn into like a powder, and it doesn't like it feels good i mean it's definitely a heavy foundation it's definitely one of the heavier foundations i've tried but i feel like with any sort of balm foundation like this you're going to get that kind of like same effect and i didn't need to use a beauty blender i was able to use my brush for the whole thing and i think i got a pretty decent finish um i don't see any like brush strokes or anything like that it blended down the neck really well so it looks like it matches except for the ears. <laughs> I didn't get any new concealer, so I'm just gonna go in with one of the concealers that I already have. And for that, I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Concealer, just to kinda lighten things up a little bit. And I'm just gonna use a beauty blender to buff out that concealer, put it over the eyelid, because that will also act as a primer. Okay, so you can see how much brighter and how much better it looks having concealer under that eye as opposed to this one. Oh my gosh, my skin looks so pretty. I'm like really curious to see how this is going to wear because I'm already really digging it. My face is set. My face is looking snatched as fuck. The next thing that I'm going to do is go in with some bronzer, but very, very lightly because I think our face is tan enough. But... I have been hearing about the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer for years now. Years and years and years and I've never tried it. Every time I go to the store, I always forget to grab one or I don't think about it. But when I was doing my little makeup shopping here, I found it on Ulta and I snatched it up. So this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and this is in Deep. And I have heard just nothing but good things about this. So we are going to use this to kind of bronze up the face a little bit. But again, not too, too much. And it smells so good. It literally smells like a beach. Like you're laying on the beach. You just put some sunscreen on. The sun is hitting you. It's like it has, it has such a nostalgic smell. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. 
and we're just going to kind of bronze up my cheeks a little bit and I've tried Physicians Formula bronzers before and they have literally been some of my ride or dies like some of my favorites for sure so I'm sure I will like this one just fine oh really nice this is like my skin literally I could just leave my skin like this put a little bit of highlighter on eyeliner mascara do my brows in a nice like lip this would be such a bronzy glowy summer makeup look for real I hate saying stuff like that because then I sound like a full-blown like stuck-up ass beauty youtuber <laughs> not next we are going to move on to brows and this product I actually heard um, through pink sparkles in her vlogs she usually uses like the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil but she found the elf one and she said it was really good so while I was makeup shopping that kind of like popped into my head and I was like oh yeah I kind of want to try that one so this is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil, and it has the spoolie on this end, and then it has a really nice pencil on the other end. And I don't see it on here. I'm pretty sure the color that I got was deep brown because that's the darkest one that they had because obviously my hair is black. And I've heard these are pretty comparable to the Anastasia ones, so we are going to find out and I hope it's good because when I did go makeup shopping I literally got four of these okay I'm not mad at it I actually am really liking the way that it is applying so far the color does look a little bit gray to me but that could be because I have so much foundation on that it's kind of coming off a little bit gray toned here what the brows are looking like I made this one oddly thick for some reason and I don't know why it looks so cartoonish and it's just killing me right now. Now the next thing that we have to go on top of it is another e.l.f. product and this is the e.l.f. Wow Brow and I think I got this in deep brown. I don't really ever use brow gels all that often just because I don't really have a need for them but I saw this one and I was like eh what the hell. Let's give it a try. Okay, so here are what the brows look like. I don't honestly know if the brow gel did anything. It's probably just going to keep them in place. Uh, I'm not happy with my brows today. I just did not do a very good job of filling them in. They just look kind of sloppy. I didn't get any new blushes or highlighters, so I'm just going to use what I have. For blush, I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter Palette. This is the newest one that he came out with and I have really really been enjoying this shade on the end here frozen prick as a blush I think it makes a really really nice blush for those of you who are gonna say you use Jeffree Star cosmetics yeah I do suck my dick I'm just gonna take my blush brush and take a little bit of that oh my god I fucking love this as a blush it is so perfect it's really, really pigmented. I think we are going to move on to the eyeballs. And I also got PR from Laura Mercier, and they sent over a ton of these, like, caviar sticks, which I really, really like. But I think I really want to try out this ColourPop palette because I, to my knowledge, I don't think I have ever tried ColourPop eyeshadow palettes before ever so this is kind of like a first impressions for the brand the formula and the colors in this one so I was on Ulta doing some makeup shopping and I came across this one in the sales section this is the ColourPop Bambi collab and first of all when I got this I was not expecting the palette to be this tiny like this is so tiny but I kind of like it it makes it really cute unfortunately it did arrive broken we did have a lost soldier right here so came a little bit broken but that is okay the colors in this just really spoke to me when I saw it on the website I was like that's actually really cute and I kind of want it and it was on sale like it was only I think like five bucks or something like that. Here's what the palette looks like up close. We have five shadows here. I'm kind of feeling a little bit creative here. So I received this Laura Mercier uh, caviar stick eye color and this is in the shade Tuxedo and it is a black one. 
I kind of want to do like an ultra smoky eye and then maybe use some of the colors in this as kind of like transitions. I think that's what I'm going to do. So to start off, I'm going to take this caviar eye stick and I'm going to literally put this all over my eyeball. Then I'm just going to kind of blend this out a little bit. So just kind of like that general shape and then I'm going to go in with this little ColourPop palette right here and I'm going to take White Tail on the very end which is the darkest shade and I'm going to put that all over top of that tuxedo because these caviar sticks make really, really great eyeshadow bases. And I'm not getting any fallout, which is good. And I don't know if that's like the caviar stick that's kind of helping the eyeshadow stick or ColourPop just has really bomb ass eyeshadows. Oh yeah. Yep, that is the vibe that I was feeling today. I didn't think I was gonna go that dramatic with it, but you know, here we are. Hi, how are ya? Be sure to subscribe. Gosh, I think the neighbor kids left the house. Thank God. Nope, they're just outside now. And I can still hear them through my window. The emo nest is coming alive. I can feel it now. Okay, and then I'm going to take that same caviar stick and just put that all over my waterline. Okay, and then the next thing that I'm gonna do to kind of buff this out a little bit is I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade, which is Little April Shower, and I'm gonna kind of mix that and Young Prince together and kind of start blending out the edges of this. I'm just gonna take a very, very light amount of those and start at kind of the outer corner and use very, very light back and forth motions just to kind of buff out that line so it's not so incredibly harsh. I am definitely not a professional blender by any means, but you know, we always give it our best try when we do. Okay, next I'm going to darken up the lower lash line and for that I'm going to use the kind of bashful shade and just take a little bit of that and just start or a lot, that's fine too. So my first impression of ColourPop eyeshadows is they blend really, really nicely. They're really, really pigmented. I will definitely have to try out more ColourPop palettes in the future because so far I am a fan. Okay, and then I'm just going to brighten up the brow bone and kind of the inner corner. And for that, I'm going to use Icing IV in this Jeffree Star highlighter palette. Just gonna take a tiny bit of that and just sweep that up on the brow bone. Now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner, and I didn't buy this, this came as like a free gift with my Ulta order, but that is the KVD Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. This is waterproof liquid eyeliner, and this is just a like little tiny sample that just came free with the order, so it says to shake well. So we're gonna shake it well, and I'm literally just going to do a big, huge dramatic winged eyeliner so here we go i have never tried this product from kvd before so ooh, that is really nice like i love how sharp and like ugh, precise this tip is really nice those are some sharp ass lines right there so this is a bomb ass sample i don't know if they even sell the the full size anymore because it's not really kat von d's brand anymore but i do know that this was her original product it is a little bit drying like i was able to do one eye just fine and then when i moved over to the other eye it was a little bit of a struggle but i really like it like these are snatched and I'm, I'm obsessed Next for lashes, I'm just going to go in with just regular mascara. I have really, really been liking the Maybelline New York Sky High Lash, Lash Sensational Mascara. This is a really, really good one. There are the eyes all finished up. I am living for this look. I think I, I just, I'm feeling myself. I feel so sexy right now. For a highlighter, I'm just going to go in with the same um, Icing IV right here. And I'm just going to highlight my cheeks. Good morning, Jeffrey. Really quickly, update on the foundation. I went to highlight down my nose 
and it literally rubbed off the foundation that I had put there. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but that's really weird because I set it and everything. So, okay, you guys, and the next product that we need to try out for this video, and I'm actually really excited about, I need chapstick, is, of course, a Kylie Lip Kit. Now, this was on sale on Ulta. That's literally the only reason why I got this. The reason why I've never tried anything from Kylie Cosmetics is I feel like a lot of her stuff is very gimmicky and kind of overpriced. Like, but I saw they had them on sale. I think this was maybe like $12 in the sales section. And I liked this color. So I added it to my cart and I figured this would be the perfect video to try it out in. The color that I got is One Wish. Uh, it's kind of like a nude color that's really the only reason why i got it is because i i really like nude lipsticks like who else doesn't like nude lipsticks and it comes with the kylie jenner one wish lip liner with the matching kylie jenner matte liquid lip in one wish so this is going to be interesting i i have a feeling i'm gonna like the color but i'm really curious to see how the formula is because i am definitely 100 percent a jeffree star cosmetics i love his liquid lipstick formula. I still love liquid lipsticks to this day. So I'm curious to see how Kylie's formula is going to match up. So let's go ahead and outline my lips first with the lip liner. First things first, really, really creamy. I don't have to press very hard. Um, it's going on really nicely. And so far I'm really liking the color. I feel like the color is going to tie in really well with the smoky eyes. So now we're going to put the liquid lip over top of it. Ooh. Whew. Wow. Talk about vanilla cupcakes. This smells very, very dessert-like, which I'm not mad at. It is very, very fragrance though. So let's see what this color looks like and how it feels on the lips. I know I'm very late, like several years late to the game on these, but better late than never. Okay, I will say the doe foot is a little bit on the smaller side for me. I don't know if that's because I'm used to Jeffree Star Cosmetics where his liquid lips kind of have a little bit more of a bigger doe foot and it's easier to move around the lips. Kylie's is a little bit on the smaller side, but I mean, it's not hard to work with or anything. I will say the smell and the scent of this is honestly a little bit too much. Like, as I'm applying it to my lips and I'm kind of inhaling and it hits the back of my throat, it makes me want to cough. Uh, so the scent of this is a little overwhelming, which I don't really say too often because I normally really like the smell um, in makeup anything. So, but this one's just a little bit too intense. It does dry very quickly. It is definitely matte. It's a really pretty color. I really like the color. One little thing about the foundation that I just noticed is I went to change my headband into a black one just because that's just my aesthetic and it did rub off like it did get onto the headband right here in this area. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. The Kylie lip is almost a little too matte like I don't know if you guys can see that but um it's a little too matte for my liking. It's honestly already starting to feel a little bit dry. I need to do something about this lip because it feels like my lips are going to fall off. I'm going to put a gloss over top of it. This is a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Gloss and this is in Celebrity Skin. I'm just going to put this gloss. Ah, oh, a hail shutter. Oh, okay, that feels a lot better. So, Pretty color, Kylie, but a little too fucking drying, okay? And now, I don't know if that's how they all are or if this was starting to expire and all to just put it on their site for sale so it would sell really quick. I don't know. Uh, this was my first time trying a Kylie lip thing, but a little too drying. As far as the foundation, I have had it on for 
mm, almost almost a full hour and so far it is still looking really good I feel like it's a little cakey like right here in between my eyebrows um, we did have that issue with it rubbing off the nose and transferring onto my headband. I don't see too many other issues with it and I don't hate it. Uh, the only thing I do hate is the color because it doesn't match me, unfortunately. So far, so good on the good apple, okay? Really liking it so far. I will, of course, check in the rest of the day. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, two thumbs up for me. I already knew I was going to like that. I love the ColourPop eyeshadows. I already knew that I liked the Caviar Sticks because I've received them in PR for quite a while now. The Brow Pencil by e.l.f. was really, really good. The e.l.f. Wow Brow Brow Gel, I, I mean, it's okay, I guess. I don't really know exactly what it's supposed to do, but I mean, it's okay. Then the KVD Tattoo Liner, freaking bomb, okay? Like, I love loved trying this. I'm really glad I got this as a free sample because this is the shit. I am going to go finish cleaning up my downstairs level of my townhome and then I will come back and do a check-in. I'll probably do a couple check-ins before I rinse this off for the day. I would like to be in bed by nine o'clock tonight, showered and makeup off and everything. So I mean we have a good five and a half hours. I will be back in just a little bit and let you guys know how the foundation and how everything else is wearing on the skin. So it is currently 3.20 and I will check back in with you guys very, very soon. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in here and give a little check-in on how the KVD Good Apple Foundation is wearing and how the rest of the makeup is doing. So it is now currently 6 o'clock at night and I started doing my makeup at around quarter after 2 I think it was. So it has been on, everything has been on for at least a couple hours now and as far as how it's looking I still think my skin looks pretty good. The only thing I'm noticing is the foundation is starting to settle in my expression lines on my forehead here. And it is a little bit uh, cakey around like my mouth, like where I've been talking and doing all my little facial expressions and whatnot. Uh, it is starting to like gather and look a little bit funky, but it doesn't look horrible. I still think it looks pretty decent. I would still go out in public like this. I feel like in another couple hours it's going to look a little bit uh, iffy. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep my makeup on because I would like to shower and get cozy in bed eventually because I do work tomorrow. But yeah, everything is looking really good. Even the eyeshadow is still looking good, like nothing is creasing. The eyeliner hasn't transferred. As far as the liquid lip, I can't really give an update on that because I put lip gloss over top of it. It to get rid of that like dry feeling. Um, the lip gloss definitely makes this liquid lip a lot more manageable to deal with. So here's just an up close view of my face. I think it looks pretty good. I did take some pictures on my camera and on my phone just for like future Instagram posts and it looks really good on camera. I think it photographs really well, but I mean you can kind of see like right here where it's starting to gather and look a little bit funky. Let me just try it for review purposes and just kind of like bounce it over the areas. Yeah, I think it I think it buffs out and blends out really nicely. I I honestly have no complaints about it so far. I think I will do one more check-in before I jump in the shower, which I don't know when that's going to be, maybe in like another hour or so, and we will give my final thoughts and we will close out this video. But so far, so good. I'm not seeing what other people were seeing, except for the fact that it is very slippery. It does move around a lot. Yeah, that's all I have for now, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Hello again guys. So it is now an hour later. It is currently 7 o'clock right now. I just took my dogs for a little W-A-L-K because they just ate a while ago and I knew it was time for them to like, you know, have a number two. So I took them on a little, you know, nightly W-A-L-K. It's about 75 degrees out with 90% humidity. It is very, very sticky out. It has been raining kind of on and off today. So it's just that really uncomfortable, sticky, humid feeling outside. 
that I'm not a fan of. So it was the perfect way to kind of test out the foundation. And I am very happy to say that it really hasn't changed after being outside for about 20 minutes or so. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So overall, I was a little worried about trying this, but I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm even more happy because now I can take all my makeup off. I can take a shower. I can have some dinner and I can chill in bed until I fall asleep. That is just... Oh, does that sound good? I cannot wait. Overall, I am very, very happy with this foundation. I am really glad I was able to get my hands on it. I'm really glad I was able to try it. So what I wanna know is if you guys have tried this KVD Good Apple Foundation. Did I mention I really like the name of it too, Good Apple? That just sounds so cute. Did you like it? Did it wear well for you? Did you have a good experience, a bad experience? Let me know down below as per usual, but now, it is time to remove the headband, whip out the makeup wipes, and here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at that yellowy goodness. Started this video with no makeup, we're ending it with no makeup. <laughs> Look at like the, the glass of foundation, oh my goodness. I don't usually buy makeup wipes anymore. I just had these in my drawer that I'm trying to finish up. These are really good makeup wipes though. So once I get the bulk of it off with the makeup wipe, I go in with a makeup eraser that was just ran under some warm water. And I just rub that all over my face to get the rust off. I gotta make sure I get behind my ears really well because sometimes foundation likes to sneak back there okay guys and that is it for this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it i had so much fun playing with new makeup i have not played with new makeup in so so long so it felt good to get some new stuff try some new stuff because if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you know that i am definitely a creature of habit i like to use the same products all the time so it felt good to try out some new stuff today i really hope that you guys enjoyed Enjoyed this video if you did make sure to go down and give it a huge huge thumbs up I would greatly greatly appreciate it if you are new to my channel I want to welcome you to my channel slash shit show make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button I do upload every three to four days here but as the rest of you I love you guys so 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 very much more than you will ever know but until then I will see you very soon in my next video I'm gonna go take a shower now yeah <laughs> I love you guys bye Mwah!